Hello, it's me again, coming from the LR. And uh, I recently tried out the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich. And, uh, you know, I wanted to see what all the craziness was about and how people was just, like, losing their mind in order to get the sandwich. And, uh, you know, so the second time around, I said, okay, let me check it out. And uh, it was, you know, a bit of a crowd. And, but, you know, check out the sandwich, and it's a good sandwich. You know, I don't know whether or not it's off with all the craziness that was going on, but it, I mean, it's a good sandwich. Uh, but one of the things that actually caught my attention was that uh, on the sandwich, they would put uh, like two crochet pickle slices uh, on there. And then I started thinking about when did this become a thing with uh, these restaurants? You know, um, I mean, because like they all do it now, you know, KFC does it with their Nashville hot. And uh, uh, Chick-fil-A has done it for quite some time, you know, with their sandwiches. So I started wondering, you know, yeah, really, when did this really become a thing? Because I've always associated that with the chicken shacks. And we all know what the chicken shacks are. Chicken shacks are those little chicken places and all the little, and every city has them, you know, and those little away places. And it's only walk up and drive up. That's it. Walk up and drive up. There is no end. Daddy. And, uh, you know, you get your, your chicken basket, it usually has crinkle fries, and three slices of chicken. I mean, three slices of pickles, rather. And uh, it's three. I mean, next time you go, go ahead and check it out, and you'll see you got three slices of pickles. So, uh, I started thinking about the last time I actually went to the chicken shack, which wasn't too terribly long ago. And, uh, you know, I drove up and, you know, you drive up to the little menu, deal with the intercom. Well, of course, the intercom is not working, as usual. And so you have to wait till you actually get up to the window to actually put your order in. And then, of course, there's always a car ahead of you that's doing the same thing, putting their order in. And that car is usually a car that, you know, is quite, you see, Growing up, and you see like these little head bobbing, you know, some kids and everything, and trying to get the order in. And of course, they don't have the order together. They didn't do it before they drove up, you know, to try and see at that point. Then you hear asking, well, now what do you want? Shop, shop, you know, blah, 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 what do you want? And so trying to get the order together. And an uh, old girl that's in the window, you know, she just kind of sitting there, you're like, wait for you to get all this together. And you can tell, like, she's thinking maybe what I was thinking, why you do this for you. But no. She's already used to it. So basically, she's just sitting there, you know, okay. So finally, they get everything together. They get the order in. And uh, then she, you know, tells them how much it is. And, you know, you see the arm comes out. It's usually a pretty good size arm. But anyway. And uh, then they get the order together. So you're still, you know, you're sitting there waiting. It's never a small order because, you know, you got the whole family and everything that they're actually uh, getting uh, chicken for. And then finally, you know, you see the greasy bags being passed out. And at that point, it's never over because they forgot something. Oh, yeah, let me have, whether it's a drink, whether it's, you know, apple pie, you know, whether it's, you know, jalapenos or whatever the case is, you know. They always forget something. So then you sit there, you wait on that, and they finally get that together. And it's still not over because now they have to actually check to make sure everything is there that they ordered. So while they're checking, then, you know, you got an old girl in the window who's looking back at you. And, you know, when she's, like, looking at me, I'm like, well, I can't do anything until they move out the way. And so, you know, she's impatient, you know, I can't do anything but be patient if I'm going to get some of this chicken. So therefore, you wait, and then finally you see the brake lights come on, you know, they pull off. And so at that point, then you pull up, you know, and say, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, uh, let me out of the uh, four wings basket. You know, so say, all right, yeah, uh, is that it? You know, and you'd be like, yeah, well, that's, that's basically it. So, okay, so then she turned around and shot the order to the uh, back. So, you know, <laughs> while I was sitting there waiting, the old girl looks at me. So, and she kind of leans out the window like this. She says, uh, you know, you're kind of cute. I said, yeah, thank you. 
So let me tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give you four slices of pickles. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm tripping right now. I said, oh, appreciate it, sister. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but uh, anyway, uh, my thing is, is that these other uh, restaurant chains are, you know, jumping on this whole uh, thing, you know, with pickle slices and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, I guess trying to have the southern down home uh, type flavor to it. And, you know, it's funny, but like, again, it always relates me back to the chicken shack. And in my opinion, there's nothing better than some more greasy chicken shack wings with crinkle fries, which I don't like very much, and your three slices of pickle. But in this case, I got four. All right. Make sure you all go to the website. Share this video. Share the link. And as usual, it's good talking to you. Till later. Greenwood.